The automotive aftermarket is over 100 years old. Throughout its history, shop owners have been through some tough challenges and come out on the other side to tell their stories. We're here to throw you a life preserver and remind you that you're not alone. I'm Doug Kaufman, the Shop Owner Magazine. Welcome to SOS Shop Owner Solutions. We're exploring some of the nightmares today's shop owners face. We'll talk about those 3 a.m. panics, the things that either wake you up or keep you from falling asleep in the first place. This episode is brought to you by Shop Boss, the leading shop management solution for independent auto repair shops. Built by a former shop owner, Shop Boss offers all the cutting edge features and integrations you need to keep your shop on top from built-in DVI and remote payments capabilities to a powerful business reporting dashboard. Try this cloud-based solution free for 30 days. Visit shopboss.net slash podcast to learn more. With me today is Vic Tarasic from Shop Owner Coach. Vic, over the past 100 years, certainly many things have changed. One that hasn't is the need to tell the customer what's wrong with their car. How you do that is certainly different today. But the word digital sometimes seems intimidating. Right. Are things are there things that shop owners need to know about digital inspections? There'd be a lot we'll talk about today. But the first thing I want to say is don't be intimidated by digital. We use it all the time. We use it in our shops. We use, you know, we're using the shop management software. We're using cameras, iPads, digital inspection, digital inspections. Just bring it all together. So the old adage, "A picture's worth a thousand words," is great to apply in this, because trust in our industry is never more important than today. And the shop owes it to the customer from a consultative standpoint to let their customer know what's up with their vehicle. A digital inspection nails this and it provides massive amounts of tra transparency for the shop to consult with the customer on what their vehicle needs. So to help give those thousand words to talk about a picture, our guests today are Kurt Kennedy from Kennedy Auto Solutions in Tomball, Texas, and Chris Boshaw, CEO of ShopOS. Welcome, gentlemen. Glad to be here, thanks. Thank you. So Kurt, tell us about your initial experiences with DVI. We wanted to do something different when we opened up uh, about five years ago now, and digital inspections were just kind of rolling out then. We wanted to set ourselves apart at the time. And so we have done them from day one. Um, the response from the customers have been outstanding from day one. They love it. They love the transparency. They love they can see what we see. That kind of helps prevent that buyer's remorse a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. They can actually see the, the leak or the, the falling apart belt or whatever it is. Um, so from that standpoint, it's been outstanding. Excellent. Excellent. We're going to get into some of the uh, learning curves and benefits of this asset we'll, we'll have in the, in the shop. But I'm going to first come to Chris and ask a little bit about the technology in a DVI inside a shop boss. Well, in our DVI, we give the same, some of the same processes that most of the DVI tools on the market have. The ability to take that video, take that picture, and include it along with a technician description of what he's seeing. Uh, and then you're able to send that out. In ShopBoss, we have a customer portal that will allow the customer to log in to see the DVI, approve the work, and even make a payment for it using our remote payment feature. So those are some of the technology uh, pieces that we have in there. Okay. So learning curve. When, you know, Kurt, when you initially started utilizing it, was there a steep learning curve? Um. Not really steep. You're used to using a camera on your phone or your tablet every day to take a picture of this or that or, you know, whatever. So it's no different. You're just taking a picture of what you're seeing on a car. Um, the way the 
DBIs are laid out kind of makes it pretty, pretty idiot proof, really. Um, you know, it has a line for a water pump for brakes for dry belts. So you just take the picture and attach it to that line. And it's just like, no, nothing else. Taking a picture of, you know, your, your wife outside or whatever it is. Mm. Um, the learning curve comes from the inspection itself with different skilled technicians in a shop. Um, which we can talk about that more, having different te- different inspections for different situations for different cars, paid inspections, non-paid inspections, et cetera. Um, but the learning curve itself is not that bad. It's it's pretty straightforward. They automatically packages it in a nice, easy-read format for the customer, so we don't have to worry about any of that. We literally just take a picture and write our notes like we would anyways. So mm-hmm. it's a, a very straightforward, very easy process. So you do the DVI, you take the pictures, Boom, automatically you're you're selling the job. You've got no problems at all, right? The customers are ready to go, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they, uh, there's still an education process to that. But yeah, it's uh, once you have the customer educated, it is really that simple. So um, it's that first initial visit or two where they're not used to it. You kind of got to explain it and sell it to them. But after that, it's they love it. So it's, it's, it's that simple. So. Is there any, any apprehension on the customer standpoint when they see this digital inspection? The way we do it is we explain to the customer up front, this is the process, this is what's going to happen, this is what you're going to see, we're going to call you or text you here. Um, so they kind of have a, a notion it's coming, so it's not a surprise. Uh, there are some that are just, they're not interested, and if they're not, that's totally fine. Um, right. You know, but once you explain it to them, overwhelmingly, 99.9% of people are thrilled that they're actually going to be have a shop that's transparent and be honest with them. So this helps with that. So it reinforces trust. Absolutely. What, what I'm seeing. So, so Chris, t- talk about the shops that have adopted the, the shop boss uh, digital inspection. And, and yeah. What do, uh, what are they, what's their feedback then? Yeah, it's it's real similar uh, to Kurt's uh, experience. There is using that DVI tool opens up that that trust uh, experience for the customer. It's kind of like they get to kind of look over the technician shoulder and see what's going on there and they feel like they're seeing those brake rotors come off or that hose that's got a leak or whatever it might be. Uh, so the feedback from our shops is that they absolutely love having that digital inspection tool. It's usually, you know, as Kurt said, that there's you know a little bit of a learning curve. It's getting the technicians the idea of you're not walking around with a clipboard and a piece of paper and greasy fingerprints all over and things like that. It's about getting out the technology to do the work for you. So, you know, there's that little bit of a learning curve. But once they get locked into it, I think almost every technician out there would say it's a much easier way to do an inspection is to take videos and pictures than to, than to try to write it all down on paper. Okay, so is excuse me. The technicians, do they push back when you hand them a digital inspection? I think the key for that, for us anyways, is to get buy-in from everybody. Okay. Um, so before we... How do you how do you get when by? we start the inspection? Yeah, so when we start the inspection, we we kind of tell them the you know the five thousand foot view of why we're doing this. You know, it's it's the long game. It's the customers. It's building those relationships, building the trust, the transparency. So those customers keep coming back. They tell their neighbors. They keep coming back. Therefore, the guys in the back have work constantly, consistently. So when you explain it to them and just kind of get their buy in that way, they uh, they're all on board at that point. Um, so it's it's pretty cool to see they uh, they get pretty excited to take videos and pictures and all that stuff when they do it now and so they're you know they treat it like it's their mom's car now um, now that they kind of know the the five thousand foot view and then we can also you know nail in the details once we uh, do the processes do the inspection process with the different inspections but they uh, getting the buy in is the biggest thing for sure. Kurt, you mentioned that there are. Uh, different situations, different applications. Does every customer get a digital uh, digital inspection? Yeah, so the way we do it is every single car that comes to the shop gets inspection. I don't care if it's because the brake light bulb's out or we're doing an engine overhaul. Whatever it is, every single car gets an inspection. We have multiple levels of inspections. We have a an inspection that gets done on 90% of the cars. We have a paid inspection, which is a wheel off inspection where we're measuring, touching, you know, giving accurate measurements on the play and front end parts or uh, brake pads, anything like that. Um, pictures, videos, a test drive, scan for codes, all that. And then we have recently a basic inspection that our GS or CTEC does 
he's not as skilled as our other guys. So that large of an inspection that they do overwhelmed him. And he was having some troubles just being overwhelmed and not knowing. Um, so we talked about that, figured out, hey, if we give you just a basic, you know, 20 point inspection, you just kind of hit the safety spots. Um, well, that worked for him and it's been a whole lot better for him. And as he grows, obviously we can add things to that and change that, which is the cool thing with the DBI is it's ever changing. You can always add, take away, you know, do whatever you want to it. So he's got that inspection for him that's paid off huge for him and it's helped him learn as well and not feel overwhelmed to kind of feel more relaxed and comfortable doing these inspections. So, Is the inspection, let's say they do the inspection and really they don't find anything wrong. Do you share that with the customer as well? Say, look, your car is in pretty absolutely. good shape. Here's what we found. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we. you always want to tell them when something's good, too. You know, it's it's just as important as when something's wrong. People are here to educate them and inform them on the condition and status of their vehicle, whether it's good or bad or both or whatever it is. So if it's good, it's good to tell them that. And that also gives us a baseline for the next time it comes in and the time after that of, hey, we were here, we didn't see this leak last time it was here based on the inspection. You, this is starting to develop. We need to take care of it or keep an eye on it or whatever. So it, it helps keep a baseline too for us in the shop um, when we're trying to educate these customers on what to fix, when to fix, and, and all that. So, Kurt, have you found that when you tell them that there's something good with their vehicle and mostly good, 99% of the vehicle is in good shape, they're more apt to buy something? Uh, not necessarily. It, it depends on the situation. I would say that's kind of a case by case deal. You know, it, it's people definitely love to hear that their shop, their car is in good shape because we have the, the stigma as the big bad auto shop that you come in for an oil change and we try to sell you a new car. So it's kind of refreshing for them to hear, oh, you mean I just need an air filter? Oh, okay, cool. You know, so they kind of feel relieved a little bit and they kind of let their guard down and that helps with that relationship uh, going forward too back to the transparency yeah so let's say there is something wrong um chris how can the digital inspection help a shop owner increase the repair order and maybe you know explain to the customer you know this needs fixed but this needs fixed as well Right. So again, it's it still feels like it's really about that transparency when you're able to put, you know, two or three different problems in front of a customer and let them see what they are. They're always going to be wanting to take care of their safety items is always going to be a big priority. So when you show brake rotors that need to be replaced or that need to be turned and brakes need to be replaced, then, you know, they're going to look at that and realize that's an important thing to do. So that's going to be kind of an automatic upsell but that, that the customer is usually going to do for themselves. Um, the other thing, too, that, you know, I got to thinking about it here just a minute ago is that this is also a liability protection for the shop, too. As they're putting this information out there, they're letting the customer know, yes, your brakes do have a problem, and it's well documented and photos are taken of it, so the customer can't later come back and claim, oh, they never told me that those brakes needed to be replaced. So really good liability protection, too. That's a great point. And if your customer comes in with car seats in the back or there's evidence that they've got a family, you really want to make sure that you're sharing the, the, the safety uh, needs with them. Yeah I, don't have, you know, exact, yeah, I don't have exact statistics on the, on the increase in repairs. I've heard from other sources that frequently they'll see about a 25 to 27% uptick in sales um, uh, at the average repair order increase using a digital inspection. Okay. Yeah, in our case, I actually did the math on that. In our case, um, you know, we're not perfect. We try to do an inspection on every single car that comes in. You know, but there's times where it just gets hectic and crazy and we're human and we just get stuff through sometimes. You know, it's not ideal, but it's just what we got to do to keep moving. On cars for us that don't have inspections versus cars that do get an inspection, there's a $364 ARO difference. So a car that gets an inspection has a $360 more ARO than ones that don't get the inspection. That we just, whatever it comes in for, we just do knock out real quick and, and move on. And that's a huge number. And I would... Shoot. I mean, I want to work smarter, not harder. I'd rather work on less bars with a higher ARO. You know, that's mm -hmm. saves on chaos, saves on time, keeps everybody kind of sane. So that's a it's a pretty real number, and it's it's kind of staggering to think about it. 
what, what, what's interesting is that $365 average repair order is higher than a lot of the average repair orders around the United States. Oh, yeah. And that's yeah. just by doing the inspection. Yep. So, that's just so an increase the average... on top of whatever your ARO is. So for that's... us, our average ARO is right around 750 So, you know, that knocks that down quite a bit for us, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Um, that's two more cars we have to do to make up for that. Well, it, du so. it doubles your your dollars collected. It cuts your mm -hmm. your car count in half if, if you're at capacity. Yeah, it absolutely. increases your efficiency. It increases your technician's ability to push out hours. Yeah. Shop more out, there's no chaos going on. What's yeah. that? Shop more out, there's no chaos going on of this and that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just trying to cram a bunch of cars through there. You know, all that stuff plays into yeah. it. So that's, yeah. So it's easy to see how a digital, uh, digital vehicle inspection is beneficial to the customer. How does it help the the back of the shop? You know, what can you, uh, what, how can your technicians, uh, maybe not even the guy who's doing the inspection, uh, benefit from that? You know, like Chris said earlier, it's there is some liability protection to it. You know, it, it's that's definitely part of it, and part of why we do it. Um, but also, the guys in the back, they. Um, they get to learn new technology, which they like. They get to help each other. If somebody sees something they're not sure of, they, hey, come over here, Lee. I know you work on these a lot. What's this mean? Or what is this leaking from? Or what's common on this? And so they all kind of help each other. They get to learn different cars and different common failures with them in different um, places parts can leak or, you know, whatever it is, different suspension parts and components for different trucks. And, you know, so they get to learn a little bit as well from each other. So it kind of helps, again, the shop morale and kind of bring people back together and, and all that as well. So. You know, another thing that that does, and I'm thinking about the back end, the technicians too, is we just went through a really tough time in 2020 with COVID. And as shop yeah. management software, lots of customers, we know a lot of shops that went out of business because they just weren't financially able to keep things going. So a higher ARO and, and, and better throughput and the mechanics making more means the, the shop is more financially stable and the shop has the ability to weather tougher times and that means the technicians more likely to keep their jobs long term and not have a shop that goes up and down like this. So the financial health of the shop is increased. That brings more stability to every aspect of the shop, whether it's a guy changing tires for 10 bucks an hour or your, your top flight mechanic out there at 30 or 40 bucks an hour. Everybody's more stable. So, Kurt, you and I spoke, and one of the things you told me was, you didn't always do digital inspections. So when you started Kennedy Auto Solutions, what was it that attracted you from the previously? What got, called, got you off the fence? I came from a, the dealership is mostly my background, which clearly we don't do in digital inspections there. It's the paper handwritten one. You, you check the box and you hand the greasy stain paper to the service writer and they present it to the customer and then I left there to go to an independent shop that was local to us because I wanted to get out of the dealership world. And their mission was to do things differently. And as part of that, I found the digital inspections and brought that up to them. Um, and they just, they didn't want any part of it. They wanted to do the paper inspection still because they said it was quicker and, and easier for the technicians and all that, which it's not, but they wanted to do that. So when I left and started our own, my wife and I opened Kennedy Auto Solutions. We said, we want to do something different. We want to be differentiated between all the other shops around us. How can we do that? Anybody can put a water pump on an F-150. The guy down the street can do that, no problem. It's the experience the customer gets from our store that's different than all the other ones around us, and, and the DVI is part of that. And so we're, from day one, we said, we're gonna do it, we're gonna invest in it, we're gonna pay the money. And it's, I mean, the money's irrelevant at this point. It's paid for itself in two cars, you know, one car, it, it pays for itself. So with the increased ARO from it. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer to do. We're extremely happy we did it, so and uh, obviously we're going to continue to do it. So, Kurt, you mentioned uh, a word that to a lot of shop owners is a, is a is a tough word to swallow, <laughs> and that's investment. What yeah. does it yeah. take to get into the DVI world? I mean, there's a couple different routes to go with shop bots. There's the DVI built into shop bots, and it's it works awesome. It communicates to the customer. It's, I mean, it's a great way to do it. 
There's third party applications that are very similar. You know, the difference is going to be more on kind of a communication side, a texting side and that type of thing and a workflow side, but the basics of it are gonna be the same. So jump into a program like ShopBoss, you have the DVI right there. It literally is cost you no extra dollars to do. So it's a beautiful segue. This episode there, is brought to us happen. by ShopBoss, uh, the leading <laughs> shop management solution for independent auto repair shops. Built by a former yeah. shop owner, ShopBoss offers all the cutting edge features and integrations you need to keep your shop on top from built in DVI and remote payments capabilities to a powerful business reporting dashboard. You can try the cloud based solution free for 30 days by visiting shopboss.net slash podcast to learn more. Uh, Chris, specifically, what kind of equipment is required uh, to capitalize on a digital vehicle inspection? Sure. Um, you know, the nice thing is, is the flexibility. And that's one of the, the key points of ShopBoss has always been flexibility. You could go as old school, and this doesn't seem old school to me, because like I remember days of pictures that you had to take the roll of film out and run it down to the place and get it developed. But you could go old school and use a digital camera, hook it up to your computer, and then do your digital inspection using a desktop computer. Or you can walk around with your phone, with a tablet. The flexibility of there is there to use any device that's got a, a, a browser and a connection to the internet can be used to take a uh, can be used to do a DVI. You may need to point out to uh, Kurt what film actually is. He seems uh, to be on the other yeah, side right. of it, and I, of course, have I don't no know what that understanding is. that that reference, and nor do you, Chris. But. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, explain a little bit more. I mean, I, today's technology with your with your phone, can you use your phone as a as a tool? Can yeah. You use a so yeah, I mean, I mean, we we've all heard those old stories about you know the the today's cell phones are powerful enough to have run you know the Apollo the Apollo missions back in the day, right? So we can do anything with these. So you can take your cell phone, uh, which is really a pocket computer that can make phone calls, and you can take that and walk around and very quickly and easily take the pictures that you need to show the work that needs to be done, and then you simply upload those pictures to the to the D, to the DVI tool. Again, we mentioned some third party ones. Whether you use the third party one or the shop boss one, it's just a matter of uploading that photograph. And again, really all you need is that browser and that internet connection. Now the nice thing about a cell phone is it's got its own internet connection built right into it. If you're using a tablet or some of those other kind of, like maybe a laptop uh, or uh, like a Microsoft Surface, you might need to have a Wi-Fi solution within the shop so that uh, the, the tablet can connect to it and get the internet connection there. The phone just kind of simplifies that a little bit. Plus it's a smaller device to walk around the car with. Still photos only, can you use video? In the shop boss one, I'm pretty sure pretty much every DVI tool out there now does have a way to include motion video. It's not something you usually want to get, you know, um, you know, two or three minutes of video. You want 10, 15, 20 seconds just to show something that's happening. One of the things that, uh, that we've heard back is that when a car is making a noise and the, the technician finds where that noise is coming from and he can video and say, here's where that noise is coming from it makes all the difference to a customer where they go, oh my gosh, now I understand where that noise has been driving me nuts for the last month. So Chris, can you share some of your top success stories from ShopBoss DVI users? Wow, um, yeah, there's so many of them. Um, I'll tell you about one of them. It's a, it's a shop, they actually, one of our very first shops, uh, they're a uh, heavy duty truck shop up in Canada. And they do uh, heavy duty uh, truck and trailer, um, cranes, things like that. They're out in Alberta, so it's a, a very rural kind of an area. So lots of HD equipment out there. And they will have inspections that will go on page after page after page after page. If you were to just print it out, these things could go on forever. Um, in the digital world, they're able to go out and do all of this and then send the link out to the customer and they see it by just looking at the pictures online and not having to thumb through multiple pages of inspections that you would do in an old school way because there's just so many more components in there uh, uh, to, to do. Um, other stories we've heard is, is the increase in the ARO. 
uh, the technician being happier with the with them being able to find additional work on the vehicle. And again, it's not always about the upsell, though that is very common that you'll have that upsell. You know, as Kurt mentioned, a $364 increase in ARO, that's that's incredible. But those kind of numbers are what, what shops are seeing, and that's where those big benefits really lie. I think once a shop goes digital, I'm, I've never heard of any of them going back and saying, now we just didn't like that, we're not gonna use it. Okay. So what would you say to someone who's on the fence? Um, you know what? Give it a run for 30 days, just like Shop Boss itself. Give it a run for 30 days. Make you know, do half of the, half the cars that come in. Do a digital inspection and watch and see what your customers' reactions are. You know, one of the things that we do see in, in the Shop Boss world is because we're a cloud-based solution. We're generally on the younger, up-and-coming kind of shop owners, and that's to me is a lot of what Kurt re uh, represents is that new, upcoming. There's better ways to do this. Than you know, than the old clunky desktops and servers, and oh, I got to have a separate computer over in this room over here to run it. You know, because the kids are walking around going, you know, you can do that all right here on your cell phone, Dad. You know, let's let's get this thing up into the into the modern era. So you know, that's uh, that, that's a, a big part of it. But that younger generation bringing that to the forefront, you know, they're the ones that are willing to just take the run at it and give it a shot. But, you know, anybody can take a try and, and just say, hey, we're going to do five of them real quick and see how the customers like it. No, that $350 repair shop uh, or, or, or invoice uh, upgrade may seem pretty fantastic to some shop owners. Uh, you know, almost impossible. I could never get my customers to spend that much more money. How challenging is it to increase those, uh, you know, those repair orders? You know, I'm going to kick that one to Kurt for sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think we've done it from day one. So we, from day one, we've explained to our customers, hey, this is how we do it. This is what to expect. So for us, it's not that difficult. We have a process. We've done it from day one. We haven't, you know, not done it before or we're introducing something new to the customers. Um, so from that aspect, Again, it comes back to getting the buy-in from everybody in the shop, the front and in the back, because you can't force anybody to do it. If you do, they're not going to be a quality inspection, and it defeats the purpose, you know. But just explaining to your customers, hey, we're, we have something new. We're trying this out. This is what to expect. And, and just make the customer know it's coming. Let them kind of welcome it on themselves. Um, let them see it, because generally once they see it, they actually are very happy with it, because there's, like you said, we're kind of – they're over the technician's shoulder at that point. They see what we see, and they build that trust and transparency with that shop, even more so if they, they already had it. This is a whole different level of it. So just getting the buy-in from everybody and explaining to the customers and educating them the process, um, especially if the shop hasn't done DVIs yet and they're going to start doing it. People are receptive to it. They want it. It's, you know, they don't know that they want it, but they wanted it for a long time now in this industry. So, um just explain it to them, and they people are open to it and welcome to it. So, and once the customer realizes no, it's not that as there are safety-related items that you're that you're recommending replacement, whether it's a torn CV boot or you know a, a leaking strut or something like that that they may have gotten used to over the time, you can point out there's real safety aspects of this that uh, it's not just a it's not just a nice to fix; it's a need to fix. Absolutely. And just like Chris was mentioning with the videos, you know, you don't need a, a two minute long video. We took a couple of videos on a car yesterday for a, a CV axle that was making a noise. They have the radio up, they're on the phone, they don't hear it. We heard it pulling into the shop. So, you know, a quick six, seven second video, he can hear it. We can take a picture of the axle, showing him all the grease has leaked out or the situation was, and he can kind of put two and two together and, oh yeah, oh man, that, yeah, that's, that's connected to the transmission, it's connected to the wheel, that is pretty safe. I, I do need to fix that. And it, it just takes care of itself. I mean, it's with the, with the explanation up front, they know what's coming and they kind of put it together. And like you said, it kind of almost does the work for you once you kind of build that trust. So it's, um, I don't, it's everybody needs to do this. So I was a, si a silent salesman. Yeah. All right, so let's recap. So you want to get buy in from your staff and you want to train them. Absolutely. You want to build up a good program, yep. you want to educate the value to your customers. How about liability protection? That's huge, especially with yeah. the four corner pictures. 
Not, no, none, none of us have ever seen road rash on a tire. <laughs> right. <laughs> How about, and then the other aspect of it is increasing the average repair work, increasing mm -hmm. efficiency, transparency, mm -hmm. trust. It builds future work for the client services. Absolutely. And I want to say the last thing on digital inspections I see, it differentiates you from the other shops around because it provides transparency and trust. Yep. Yeah, after 100 years, everybody's looking for that next new thing, and the, uh, the next new thing is doing a better job than you've ever done before. Yep. Uh, our guests today have been Kurt Kennedy from Kennedy Auto Solutions in Tomball, Texas, and Chris Boshaw, CEO of Shop Boss, the leading management solution for independent auto repair shops Built by a former shop owner, Shop Boss offers all the cutting edge features and integrations you need to keep your shop on top. From built in DVI and remote payment capabilities to a powerful business reporting dashboard. You can try this cloud based solution free for 30 days by visiting shopboss.net slash podcast to learn more. Kurt and Chris, thanks so much for joining us. It's been an eye opening uh, look at, at, uh, I don't want to say the future because it's the present. It's the present. <laughs> but it's a very important part of our world and uh, will only continue to get more important. Sounds good. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. We'll talk to you again soon.